Hey everybody, Techie101 here. Welcome back to Let's Play of Pokemon White part number 17. Whoa, I got sucked through another time rift, and this episode took way longer to get out than it, it, it should have expected, right? Those those things really need to get fixed. I really need to call a doctor about that. Okay, so, uh, in case you guys are not aware, because it has been a long time, um, I'll just do a little bit of a recap to see all the stuff that I did. I remember that um, before I... Uh, went on that hiatus there. I actually did something different with my Pokemon. I actually went in and I leveled up a bunch of them in the next route. So I yes, I did go into the next route without you guys. I apologize for that. But um, I think it was just because I needed to really level them up because they were really low. I barely defeated Berg uh, last time you, you remember. Um, so uh, a couple things that I changed is I, I renamed uh, my Herdier into Komamora, so that's his name. I evolved Toph in, from a Rog and Rolla into a Boldor, so yeah, I got him going on. He's going to be my front runner for the most part. I did not call Toph being my front runner, but hey, there you go. I uh, still got Shimo and Azula, Pampor and Excal Excalibur. Probably uh, Pampor is going to be the next person we're going to be looking to get rid of. Um, but yeah, so uh, that being said, let's just head on to the next route. Uh, there's not a lot of trainers to fight here, as I previously stated I have fought most of them so we're just gonna head on to the next uh, area and I'm, I'm glad I did that now because some of people I think I mentioned that to some people like hey I, I, I did the next route off camera like oh my god Matt why did you do that and I'm like hey now it's actually a good thing because now we can actually do stuff in the first episode since the hiatus is over instead of just fighting random trainers ooh a sand dial love a sand dial okay fine we'll fight the sand dial haven't had a Pokemon fight in this freaking LP in forever now if you're watching uh, this on a on the um, playlist, then this isn't really a big deal. You're just like, Matt, what the fuck are you talking about? I'm watching episode 7. Uh, I, I, wait, was it 16 or 17 the last one I did? No, it was 16. It was 16. Uh, but yeah, no, this is, uh, like, this is a, a long time coming, guys. This was like a good three, four month hiatus. Let me tell you how long it was. When I first booted up this game and I walked into a new area, when it had to reset the seasons, it went through summer, autumn, and then stopped at winter. So it's been at least three months. Uh, maybe longer, but yeah, it had to cycle through like three different kinds of seasons before I got to the right place. Okay, so let's go into this area. We are now in... Da, 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 da. Oh, okay. Well, whatever going on here. Team Plasma. I, I keep saying Team Plasma. That's throwing me off. Every single... Because this... Uh, the dialogue bubbles in this generation actually say who's talking before and bef like before this and every other generation and even in X and Y. It's just it just tells you exactly what they're saying. So that's throwing me off. I got to get over that. Gramps, we know you run the daycare. Yes, how dare you run a daycare? How dare you give Pokémon a place to stay? You terrible bastard! You should be rounded up and drowned in ammonia. How do we know? Because we're a Team Plasma. We have connections, bitch. We are taking Pokemon away from people. Since you work at the daycare, we figure you must have a lot of Pokemon. No, really? Hand them over. <laughs> and then the old man busts out his pair of, like, Nunchaku and then whips the freaking, uh, you know, beats the shit out of the Team Plasma members. It turns out he's like Mr. Miyagi. What kind of nonsense is this? <laughs> oh, no, don't. I know what you're thinking. Don't even say it. Ooh, a strong trainer. Please help me. Oh, son of a bitch. Why do I always get roped into this crap? If you're going to get in our way, we'll take your Pokemon too. I did not say a goddamn word! Okay. I could just be like, go oh, old man, screw you, right? Alright, bring it on, you freaking, uh, I don't know, Monty Python and the Holy Grail reject? I have no idea. Alright, normal versus normal, death battle to the finish. You know, it's also really handy, and, uh, you know, I I'm not going to go into huge detail here, but uh, I have been playing at Pokemon X and Y, of course, and I just, I actually haven't played that in a while because I honestly have caught the majority of Pokemon you can catch in that game before Pokemon Bank comes out. So, um, here's the thing, though. Before, when I played Black and White, I knew very little about any uh, Generation 5 Pokemon. So whenever I encountered a new Pokemon, it was very weird because I'm just like, I don't know what type it is, I don't know what things it can do, I don't know what its ability is. But now, since I've been playing X and Y, and I've been just on this manhunt, well, Poke hunt, I suppose, to catch all these, to catch all these uh, Pokemon, I now know considerably more about Generation 5 Pokemon. Uh, so now I think I'm a better suited to play this, you know, the, the better LP it. Now, it's always kind of a novelty be like, okay, her ears asleep. All right, we'll switch out. It's always kind of a novelty. I need a fighting type. Uh, I don't think I have any. Does, does Shimon have anything? Uh, no, Shimon doesn't. Oh, man, my God, Shimon, your moveset freaking sucks. We need to fix you. 
Toph. We'll, we'll, you know, screw it. We'll throw Toph out. Throw a boulder. But, yeah, now I know which Pokemon use which moves, you know, basically, what well, their types among anything else. I have a pretty good understanding of what every one of their types are. So, yeah, I mean, it's always a, like, it's always a novelty that I don't know anything about the game, and it's like a new adventure for me. But then we get into a fight, and it's like, uh, Matt, why didn't you use this technique? It's obviously a normal type, so why didn't you do this? I'm like, I'm sorry, I didn't know it was, it was, uh, dual typed normal fire or whatever. You know, it's, uh, that's, that, that's the kind of a, a confusion there. Ah, damn it, really? I hate Pokemon that do this. I hate trainers that know they can't win, so they just decide to, you know, annoy me with uh, hypnosis and paralysis and detects and protects. Bullshit protects. Oh my god, really? Fucking Patch Rat. Watch Hog. Yes, Watch Hog. Just gets done saying how much more he knows about Pokemon, confuses a Watch Hog for a Patch Rat. Fail! Come on, Boulder, wake up! Thank you! Jeez! <sighs> Hit one time. Okay, there you go. Only takes one. Go more good to level 21. Kick ass. Trubbish. Okay, poison. Uh, let's see. We don't have any psychic types. Uh, so screw it. I'm just gonna keep Boulder out there. Oh, he's so adorable! Smack it down! Sludge. Ah, oh, great. Don't get poisoned. Oh, wait, no. It's my luck, so of course he's gonna get poisoned. Oh, no, really? Accuracy sucks dick, though. Toxic spikes. Okay, that's like, uh, that's an entry hazard. It's like, uh, it's like spikes or stealth rocks. So whatever Pokemon I send out, it won't get damaged, but they will get poisoned immediately. So, pretty clever. If you use it in a tournament, that should be pretty, uh, useful. Because then that way they have to, you know, I don't think in tournaments they can use, like, potions and shit. I mean, I've never been in a Pokemon tournament, and probably never will be, because it's not something I care that much about. <laughs> You're trying to poison a rock? Not gonna be very easy. Can't get blood from a turnip. My god, this... Wow. Double slap? Eh. Sorry, buddy. Might take a whole 1 HP away from me. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Double slap, not quadruple slap. Or quintuple slap. What the fuck is with my accuracy? This does not seem real. This does not seem real. I don't think I've ever had this, if this is like botching, this is like the worst strain of botches I've ever had playing this freaking game in any of its under their generations. Oh, wow, that was way more difficult than it should have been to defeat one dude. Alright. Exclamation point! Did he just stand there and just say, exclamation point? Let's hide out at the amusement park. Oh, what, you're not gonna fight me either? Really? Okay, well, thank you for telling me where you are, so I can easily come and kick your ass on another day of the week. Thank you so much! Yeah, that's great, kid. Yeah, can I have, like, I don't know... You know, can, can you give me something useful now? It's a brand new bike. Okay. Alright, that's alright. That That's alright. That's an appropriate reward. It's finally, you know, part 17. You know, we, you, you defeat Team Plasma, sometimes you get, like, a berry or a potion, or you don't get anything at all. You get a bicycle. I'd say that's a fair trade for whomping one of the Team Plasma grunts. Okay. Hey, Matthias, you who I just beat you last episode, Bianca, what the hell? You were lost in a time rift, too. The professor told me Nabasa City has a lot of things to see and do. The amusement park, the big stadium, the small court, and the battle subway. <laughs> Should we go to the big stadium or the small court? Um, uh, I don't know, big stadium? Okay. The battle subway. I got in a battle in subway once. There was so much Italian bed and freaking pastrami everywhere. Try not to talk about it. I'm going to see the Pokemon musical. Go see you later. There's a Pokemon musical. Well, actually, that's a real thing that actually exists. Um, I, 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 I'd reference not looking it up, although I think some of the actors did get actual plays in other uh, major uh, productions like Wicked and I think like Jersey Boys or something. Or no, the Book of Mormon, that's it. Uh, coming to Flash and Boss makes me feel light and happy as if I were holding an air balloon. Oh, are you going to give me a balloon? Is this going to turn into Up? You kind of look like that character from Up, except a little bit more bald. Yeah, people have been telling me, you can go around and talk to people. Don't just go around and just look at the, you know, gym leaders and leave. You know, try to actually, look examine the, the area. Battle Subway, I'm going to stay out of there first. Hey, a clown! Let's talk to the clown. As it happens, Nabasa City is a major destination for Pokemon battles. There are Pokemon trainers in lots of these buildings. Even this one? <laughs> no, probably not. Alright, uh, well, there probably are, but I can't fight them. Battle Institute. This, I'm having Battle Frontier flashbacks, guys. I do not want to... I don't want to do that. Alright. Leisurely trips by train. Riding from Gear Station to Anvil Town feels like a bit of a dream. Alright, that's cool. 
Alright, gotta go into random people's houses. Blue hair people. Reminds me of those, uh, the blue haired twins from Yu Gi Oh! 5Ds. People say shiny Pokemon look like they're gleaming when they come out of the grass. Well, I only have a 1 in 8,192 chance to find one, so thanks for that piece of information. Shiny Crook Crook! I wonder what colors they are. Ah, I think they're blue. Someone will probably correct me on that. Nyo 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 Nyo! Numa Numa. Money. Okay, I'm not gonna do it. If I compared the glow of a Nimbasa to something, it would be the sun. Yes, the sun. It inspires me to give you this. Oh, I got a sunstone! I got a sunstone! Holy shit, I can get a freaking, uh... What, what evolves with a sunstone? I, I can get a sun floor now! Kick ass. If you love your Pokemon, even if it's, it changes its appearance, you'll stay connected with your Pokemon. My Pokemon evolves, it gets stronger. Okay, I don't think I'm gonna get anything else in this house. Okay, I got a sunstone, though. That's kind of useful. We'll see if any Pokemon I encounter needs a sunstone, and I decide to catch it, and I decide to evolve it. That'll be very useful. All right, actually, hold on. Let me, um... After I go into this house, let me, uh, do something. Have you seen the musical? Uh, yeah, you know, the reviews weren't that great. But, you know, I think I'm just gonna go see it. You know, my girlfriend's really uppity about it, you know. Experience feeling like a powerful man. HMO4 strength. Okay, that's insanely useful. <laughs> they just put it in, like, a random house. Okay, that... That uh, actually gives you a reward for going around and checking things, because I would have never gotten that otherwise. Big stadium. Oh my, the Herdier seems to like you. Matthias, let me give you this. Okay, we've got a Soothe Bell. Awesome. That will increase uh, friendship to whatever Pokemon I give it to. Uh, if I had any Pokemon that involved with friendship, that would be very useful. Also, uh, Bulldor, uh, Toph, actually cannot evolve again uh, into Gilgith uh, unless I have it traded, which is impossible, of course, on a emulator. So, if I decide to keep him throughout the run of the LP, he's just going to probably be stay a Bulldor. I could use, like, a random Pokemon finding code, and I can find him, you know, I can catch, catch him in the wild at the same level, but, you know, the uh, the stats would be exactly the same, so I don't think I'm going to do that. Hey, Ann, you're looking for Team Plasma, right? They ran into the amusement park. Come with me. All right, then. I have no idea where they are. It could be that clown. Get over here, clown. I'm going to beat your freaking red-nosed face in. No? Yeah, that, that's, that, we're giving them too much credit that they'll actually disguise themselves. They're not here! Let's ride the Ferris wheel and see if we can spot them! Okay, and just admit it, you just want to go on a date with me, right? I mean, it's cool, it's cool. I mean, I got the hair. Yeah, and the cap, you know, who doesn't want to, you know, get on this? But really, I, I don't think this is gonna, this is just gonna be awkward. <laughs> this is like ten times of awkward. It's like if you just walked into an amusement park and went on the Ferris wheel and somebody else was on the car you're going on, but you just walked on anyway, and the guy's just like, dude, I'm, I'm riding in here. He's like, ah, oh, it's cool be very awkward. Alright, get sis get a sis as somebody told me how it was properly pronounced, but that was a long time ago. Oh man. I wonder how many Pokemon exist in this world. Well, I'm getting a vision that there's gonna be 69 more in the near future. That was nice. <laughs> My Lord N, you're safe, sire! No, there's no prom. You're part of the Pokemon we brought in to help to save the Pokemon. Since you, so, you're under my protection as well. Go quickly and let my battle cover your retreat. Now then, Matthias, do you follow my logic? Uh, 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 uh. I'm gonna say no to see what happens. So that's how it is. That's unfortunate. Ah, then, the future I envision. Perhaps I can't beat you here and now, and I'll battle you anyway to buy time. For these members of Team Plasma to flee. Um, okay, cool. I'd rather fight you than those freaking twerps. Hello, N. Oh, wait, no! Uh, I'm sorry. Big revelation! N is in Team Plasma! Holy fuck shit! I did not see that coming! Alright, what do you got? You got a sand dial. Alright. You got a ground type slash, uh, is that ground rock, I think? Yeah. I don't know. Whatever. Uh, okay, Komomora. Probably not gonna be very useful here, but, uh, use work up anyway, and then we'll, uh, give you a shot. Oh, is that, uh... Hate that freaking move! Assurance. Oh. Oh, right, I'm asleep. Probably should have seen that. I don't want to run. Alright, let's throw out, uh, let's throw out Panpour. Give it a shot, I guess. You're not going to be on my team for very much longer anyway. I got a funny story to tell you guys. When I was in the, uh, my, uh, adventure to try to catch all the Pokemon in, uh, X and Y, I, uh, he's going to kill me. Yeah, I was trying to catch the eye and caught the elemental monkeys. 
And for some reason, I thought the elemental monkeys evolved just by leveling up. So then you had me going around, literally uh, evolving them to insane degrees. Like I got like a Pampor and like a Simaseer, uh, not, a, not a, a Pampor and a Pansage, up to like level 40, 45, and they're not evolving. And I'm like, what the fuck? And I finally had to look it up that they evolved with elemental stones, and I was kicking myself in the freaking balls, because I'm like, I just wasted, like, how many freaking hours evolving these things? Whatever. Vine Whip! My Excalibur is, cannot use Vine Whip again. Great. Okay, you just... Your Pokemon look happy. Well, thank you! Even though I know I can't do that. Why did I just do that? Oh, wait, I thought... It, oh, wait, no. Embargo just means my items, not my... I'm thinking of something else. I'm thinking of, uh... Torment, I think. Yeah, Torment makes you can't use the same attack in the same row. Obviously, yeah. Sorry, guys! Daramaka. Okay, well, a water Pokemon would have come in very handy there, but I guess we'll just go with, uh, you know, we'll throw Shimon out there. Shimon's got this. Get a Shimon. Darumaka. Oh, he's so adorable. Mud Slap! I'm not gonna do the Mud Slap! Baby Mud Slap! Gotta do- Oh, really? Fucking really? Okay, Darumaka hates the song. Okay, screw it. Top, just, 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 just end it, please. You're my insurance Pokemon. Everybody needs at least one insurance Pokemon. Like, I have a level 100 freaking Gil- Um, oh, what is it? Golurk. Yeah, I have a level 100 Golurk on my team. So yeah, whenever I, uh, you know, whenever I'm in the dire straits, at least I have that one on my team just to throw out and just an instant win no matter what. Uh, scraggy, fighting type, need flyer. I do not have a flyer. Uh, so we'll just keep talking out there, I suppose. Scraggy's annoying to evolve, too. I think it's like, um, level 49 or some such. 39, maybe? Takes a while. Uh, we'll use Rock Blast. Brick Break! Oh, that might actually hurt me. Whoa! Okay, yeah. Sorry, Scrags. Uh, what do we got? We got da 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 da. Okay, Zula's gonna be useless. Uh, okay, Excalibur, you're my you're my go-to, I suppose. Wow, my Pokemon got the freaking shit kicked out of them in this episode. They're just mad at me. He's like, he's like, we don't see you for three months on end, and you expect us to be your best friends? Screw you! Swagger, Scragga got swagger. Excalibur's attack rose sharply, and I became confused. Well, luckily, Excalibur can cut through confusion. Oh, yeah! Leaf Tornado his way to the top. Brick break again. Okay, we can take this. We can take this. We can take this. Oh! Fine, whip it and just end it. Okay, come on. Do it, man. Just do it. Hmm. I say... Oh, 15 HP. Wow. All right. Alright guys, what do we have left? We have an unconscious dog and we have a zebra. That that'll be great. That that'll be great. Okay, Azula, you got this broski. Or dude ski, dude ski, I don't know. Oh, that's right, I learned flame charge. That's another little tidbit I I forgot to tell you guys. Oh yeah, I learned flame charge. Boom! Really? Azula, you couldn't even finish one off. Really? Alright, you know what? Your speed is for the whistle. So please, just, just please do it. Please, just, come on, just, I could have used Quick Attack, but it wouldn't have mattered. I, my speed is, oh, fuck, fuck. <sighs> break, break, I'm gonna die, aren't I? Couldn't even have one, Azula. Oh, okay, Quick Attack. Please, just make it easy on me. Damn it! Of course, of course, of course not. Azula can never win. Azula is destined to fail at whatever she does. Okay. Well. Coma. You're all I got, except you're fighting type, so normal's not going to... Do I have a revive by any chance? Uh... No. Shit. Mm. Battle items. That's not going to help. Uh... I don't think we're going to get out of this, guys. I can heal myself, but if he uses Brick Break, I'm fucked. Well, God, I can do something, I suppose. Use, use Swagger, just for the sake of, just for old time's sake, you know? Damn it. I'm dead. Oh! Okay. Um... <laughs> 
I don't know what to do. This sucks. Faint attack, okay. Alright, uh, I gotta take a leap of faith here, guys. Recording's almost over. Take down! Damn it. Damn it. Well. Ah, fudge knuckers. Alright, well, uh, that was a fun episode to bring back the memories. Uh, see you next time, guys. It's about 20 minutes in, so I'm gonna go heal up and then, uh, maybe take on Anagan and try not to die this time. Alright, see you later, guys.